Well, hi there, Pisces. Welcome to your channeled intuitive forecast. Oh, from the Gasmic Tarot. As we expand on the energies, here's your forecast for October 2021. General reading, take what resonates, leave the rest for everyone else. If it does resonate with you, if you want me to resonate with your energy, if you want to claim the reading, or just tell me where you're watching from. I always get really excited about that. So I'd love to see that. Throw a comment below the video. All right. So we're asking Spirit for some foundational cards. All right. And then we will get started. Okay. Look at that. Let me just take a sip of my morning beverage. Mm. So when you can find the ah in the morning, that's the beginning of a great day. Just saying. All right, so we have the ace. Oh, by the way, thanks again for like and likes and <laughs> can I speak at this hour? Thank you again for liking and subscribing to the channel to support the channel. I really appreciate that. Okay, ace of air. All right, aces are always about new beginnings. It's about moving forward. It's about opportunity. It's about creativity. Love the aces, and here we have. The Pegasus here in this Ace of Air. This is about destiny and fate, the powers of transformation and synchronicity at work. All right. So, oh, I just saw a spirit orb. Okay. I I, I get a lot of spirits in the room, but to see the orbs all over sometimes get, gets me a little excited. Sorry about that. All right. So this is about meaningful coincidences. This is about right place, right time. Uh, operating... Um, in your highest good, this is about things really starting to happen at great velocity. Now, we have Mercury in retrograde right now for the first couple of weeks in October. Uh, so to get that, to have this in there, when everybody's releasing, Pisces is released so much. Um, so um, you continue to release as part of your normal practice. And um, things are starting to shake. I mean, maybe you found something that you're passionate about and you're getting excited about. And there's where all the, the doors open. You know, follow your passion, the money will come. You know, and the five of fire is about creative brainstorming. You know, it's about um, the freedom to explore the ideas. And you are a free spirit, Pisces. And so there, you're not bound to the same rules as everybody else. Um, you know, you don't care what people think. And you're just going to say, hey, you know, this this idea, I like it. it. It tickles my heart. It tickles my belly. I'm getting enthusiastic about it. And so you're able to go gangbusters in that direction. You know, it's like, a, you know, the child, that childlike innocence, that childlike excitement. You found it again in October. And you're able to put it into practical use in order to really kind of maybe carve out a niche for yourself in something. Maybe there's some little side business that you th had a, an idea about, but you're so enthusiastic about it. It could become big. Okay. Then you've got the three of earth and the three of earth is building and building and building. So you're going to, this new opportunity, this new thing, thing that's tickling you, you're going to start building a foundation for that, you know, and, and, and dedicate some time to it during October. So great foundational cards for, um, <clears throat> for Pisces as you're moving, um, you know, into something maybe new, new for you. That may not be new for everybody, but new for you. Hmm. So let's get a little bit more information from the smallest deck in the world. Let's see what we got. Come on, spirit. Thanks. Okay. 
All right. I know. I do what they tell me. <clears throat> and I'm looking at that going, okay. All right. So let's talk about the more recent past. For a second. And how you're not allowing that to impact your October. Something's going on. Something has happened in September. Maybe before September, but you, you maybe you saw the writing on the wall. But something kind of threw you for a loop in September. And made you feel trapped. Made you feel like you can't. Like you, you, you're kind. We were kind of stuck, but you've already started, especially um, towards the end of September, to do those releasing, and and you're walking away from um, situation mentally, at least if not both mentally and physically, where you can really open these doors. And you know, you got the wish card. Make your wish. Go to the Dollar Tree. Get your dollar notepad. You know. And write down what exactly you want. What do you want? You know? And how it would make you feel when you get it. So let's say you're looking for a new job. Write down, you know, we had this in somebody else's reading. Write down what you um, what you want out of the job. You know? Um, what would your day be like? Where would you be working? What kind of work would you be doing? What kind of team would you be working with? What would your manager be like? Okay, uh, how much would you be making? What kind of vacation time would you get? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So write it all down of the things, the items, and then next to each item, how would that make you feel? All right, everybody, it's just like everybody always writes about the Powerball. I'm going to win the lottery. Okay, when I think about winning the lottery, I think about all the people that would come out of the woodwork, and I don't know if I'd be very happy with that. It would be too much money. You know, and <laughs> so is uh, so many spirits going, yeah, well, give us some of it. Yeah, okay. That that sounds good too. Um, all right. So you've got the pot. You write down your wish during this period. Do it the exercise. It takes 15 minutes for Pete's sake, you know, but spirit is reminding you, your wishes do come true that when you follow your heart and the King of Cups is about following your heart. And, and getting into that light, childlike heart space. And we talked about that childlike innocence here. All right. And this is that nostalgia card, I call it. You know, the, uh, the, the six of cups. And it's about reconnecting with the old, that nostalgic, the old happy memories, the old, uh, the old gang. Maybe you're connecting with the old gang this period. You know, and that's going to open you up to that you know, those old happy memories. I always like, I always talk about <clears throat> my dad bringing us to the bakery or my dad bringing me to the, to, to go through that drive through car wash when I was little, how excited I would get. So you want that childlike enthusiasm over the littlest things, you know, like maybe it's a sip of morning coffee. Mm. Ah, and that ah, or that aha moment is what opens doors and creates. You know, they, the ah of creation, maybe that's part, I think it's part of the Kabbalah also, Kabbalah, you know, about the chanting. So you're walking in to a, a month where anything is possible. You have the reins, you have the opportunities, doors are opening, things are going to happen in your favor, and you're going to, you got the fool. And the fool is about taking that leap of faith to move forward. Taking the leap of faith, cautious, cautiously optimistic, but taking the leap of faith, calculated risk, but still a leap of faith. So Patrick Overton, and I'm going to paraphrase because I can never get his exact quote correct, but as you walk to the edge where there is no more light, you take that first step into the darkness, knowing that one of two things will happen. You're either going to hit solid ground. Or you're going to be taught how to fly. This is I've done this many times, unfortunately, many times in my life. Uh, very can, can be really scary, but by your Pisces, 
You could do anything, please. All right. Then you've got the new beginning. You know, we talked about the new beginning here, you know, but the sword, every, every ace you, that we have in the deck is about a new beginning. And we have the ace of air here, um, is about the new beginning. And this time though, ch -ch -ch, you can see, you know, that song, somebody's spirit is singing me. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. Sorry. It's early. Um, it's about cutting through the, uh, the fluff, cutting through the BS. You can see through this. You can see clear to the goalpost. And what you see, you like. And you're able to focus because of that. Because we can see clearly what the end game is, we focus. A fabulous reading for Pisces for October as you, you know, deal with some just residual stuff, negative Nancy or Earth A energy and move totally into Earth B. You are transforming into that Earth B being filled with peace, love, joy, bliss, enthusiasm, passion, charity, um, contentment, joy. Wow. Delicious. Good for you. Good for me, my Pisces brothers and sisters. All right, kids, that's all I've got. Thanks again for your likes. Thanks for clicking that button, sharing uh, your joy with others, and we'll see you next time. Take care.